Hello, cunts. Star Wars Rogue One is out, so I've got a special treat for you. Hey, guys. Hey. It's Cassidy Boone here. Drunken Uncle. Nice to meet you, Cassidy. I need to talk to you guys about something that is really important, and it's hurting a lot of women. Oh, shit. Rape culture? Misogyny? And I just, I can't take it anymore. Unconscious bias? The ubiquitous patriarchy? It's, it's getting on my nerves so much that I just want to go... Far, far away. Don't rule it out, Cassidy. That might be best for all of us. Like, you see it everywhere. Oh, sexism, yeah? It's sexism. Is it sexism? The toys, the posters, the fucking ads before all the YouTube videos, including my own. Ah, you must be talking about Star Wars, which we all knew anyway because we all saw the thumbnail, but I am looking forward to hearing about how a film franchise is hurting women. Like... There's seriously no escaping that stupid little green man and all the white boys with zappers and lifesavers and stupid shit like that. Yes, Cassidy, yes, very stupid. I think we can all agree on that. Fucking lifesavers. Like, okay, for example, the other day I was just walking down the street, minding my own business, and thinking about feminist issues. <laughs> wow. Just... I'm, I'm so mad. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be apologising for that, Cassidy. It's your parents who've got some fucking explaining to do. When a person in one of those big, brown, hairy costumes came running over to me going, Aah! and handed me, like, a flyer for some convention. So, someone doing their job. Albeit a shit one, but then they do get to dress up as a Wookiee, so, you know, perks. Or something. I don't know. And I threw it at him, and I was like, the hell is this? I don't want this. Yeah, I mean, not damaging to women so far, but I am fairly certain that you're an absolute cunt. And lucky. I mean, it's not wise to upset a Wookiee. They can rip your arms right out of their sockets. As a feminist, I just want to tear down every poster, destroy and burn every toy, and skip past every trailer that is before my YouTube videos. Mine. You put ads on this shit? How the fuck do you get away with that? I mean, everything I've added to your video so far is a vast fucking improvement. I don't want to give this geeky franchise its greasy fans and its sexist premise any more of my precious time. Oh, I have so many problems with that sentence, but I'll, I'll, I'll pick one. No, two, two. I'll pick two. Number one, what sexist premise? Is this the bit that's hurting women, and if so, can we get to that bit, please? And two, precious time? It's been two minutes and you haven't even got to the fucking point. Chop chop, Cassidy! For those of you stupid idiots who have no idea what the hell I'm talking about or you haven't figured it out yet... Shit all over your own audience, that's cool, that's cool. Obviously, I'm talking about Star Wars. Do I have to spell it out for you? No, of course you don't have to spell it out for us. S T. A oh, right. You are actually going to spell it out. Okay. R-W-A-R-S. Oh, if you'd have fucked that bit up, I would have shat myself with glee. The truth about Star Wars is that little green guy and that stupid blonde white boy is like, no! This is really difficult. I'm going to tell you. Tell me. It is so incredibly sexist, it blows my mind. Yeah, I get the feeling that printed text could blow your mind, so I'm not holding my breath on it being sexist. Like, it's seriously... It's seriously! I would have edited that part out personally, but then I'm not off the chain mental. Should win some sort of Nobel Prize for being so sexist and so bad. I am pretty sure there is not a Nobel Prize in sexism, because if there were, Anita Sarkeesian would have won it already. I'm going to explain to you exactly what Star Wars is about. Well, hey, the point of the video is finally here. So first, let me explain to you exactly what Star Wars is about. Did you just... Uh, am I in the Matrix? And then I'll get on to telling you why it is so sexist. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is like... This is like I'm sat here waiting for you to drop off a big bag of weed to me. And I send you a text and you say, yeah, I'll be there in five minutes. And then ten minutes later, I send you another text and you say, yeah, I'll be there in five minutes. And I need that weed, Cassidy, now more than ever. So, 
being pretty cultured, especially when it comes to cinema. Not especially cultured when it comes to language, though, eh? It didn't take me much research to really find out everything that I needed to know about Star Wars. So then this is going to be brilliant. Okay, so Star Wars is obviously a series of movies created by this weird guy named George Lucas. Well, if being worth over $5.1 billion is weird, I don't want to be normal. They're all set in space and they're about this guy, um, Luke Skywalker, his girlfriend Leia, and their son Anakin. That's just... just never mind, just never mind. Who later becomes Dark Vader, but I'll get to that later. Well, I don't know about you, cunty viewers, but I personally cannot wait to hear about Dark Vader. So anyway, there's six movies out already and the seventh one is coming out really soon. Hey. Oh shit, this video's really old. Oh, well, I'm here now. Oh fuck, that was a year ago. There's another one, Cassidy! You must be fucking livid! So anyway, the movies are about, like, these people called Jedis and they wave around these lifesavers and just do shit. Yep, galactic shit doers, that's them, yep. The Jedi use something called the Force to make their lifesavers work. It is amazing how one person can get something so wrong. No one tell her, no one tell her. I want her to live out the rest of her life thinking they're called lifesavers. The most important part of the storyline is the fight between the, the light side of the Force and the dark side. And here is where the sexism reveals itself. Uh, you, you say that, but you've let me down so many times already. I, I, I just don't know what to feel anymore, Cassidy. Let me explain. Uh, I'm letting you explain. This is your video, Cassidy. No one is interrupting you. I'm interrupting you. Shit, my bad. Carry on. It should be obvious to anyone with any kind of fucking logical thinking. Oh, this is gonna be good. That the dark side clearly refers to periods. Wow. Wow. You did not disappoint this time. Wow. Now, I'm not talking about grammar with, like, commas and periods and sentence structure. Are you sure? Because that might actually make more sense. I'm talking about menstruation. Literal, literal, bloody periods. I think I would actually prefer watching a video of that right now. The concept of the dark side is just this very thinly veiled idea of what George Lucas has on the, uh, on the facts of what women's periods are. Oh, I'm so angry. Why are you so angry though? You know, unless you're, it, you know, it, it's that time of the, uh, are you joining the dark side right now? Sexist old men like George Lucas like to joke a lot how women become so evil when they're menstruating. Yeah, they do. We all do. Even women do. It's because you do. How they always try to choke people and how they get so angry at that time of the month. Whoa, choke people? That's new. I mean, I can kind of see the connection you're trying to make, but Cassidy, you shouldn't be choking people. Unless, of course, it's for the old asphyxie wank. And joining the dark side is just a metaphor for having your period. Oh, yes, but I said it first. You can't use it. It's mine, not yours. Kind of like how when they say, join the dark side, we have cookies. It's just like... It's making fun of women, how we like to, like, eat chocolate and sweets and cookies when we're menstruating. No, it's not, you over-emotional fuck. It's enticing people with a delicious and sugary snack. And might I suggest you crush some up now and snort it through a straw because you need your fix right fucking now. Okay, I mean, like, it is so obvious. Just listen to this quote that I got from Wikipedia, which is, like... Wikipedia, but for nerds. It's Wookiepedia, and it's the best name for anything ever. Oh, those... Who those who... Okay, so... Ugh. Right, I, I have to mention right now that whenever she gets a bit frustrated, she will cut away to this ear-piercing scream. Now, it, it's 11 o'clock at night, I'm, I'm in my house all alone, and I thought I was going to die, so I've cut those parts out. Those who join the dark side draw power from raw emotions and feelings such as anger, hatred, greed, jealousy, fear, aggression, Egg and megalomania. Megalomania, you infant. And unrestrained passion. Those are exactly the kind of words and phrases that stupid old white men use to explain women on their periods. Oh, yeah, yeah. The amount of times I've heard my grandfather say, don't worry, it's just her unrestrained passion, or she's just being a megalomaniac. But, like, they're seriously 
even more evidence to explain why the dark side is making fun of women's periods. Great, and yet more evidence that you should be sectioned. I mean, seriously, look at the colour of the lifesavers on the bad side. They're all red. I don't know, I'd say that's more orange. Does that remind you of anything, huh? No? Blood? Red? Periods! Fire engines are red, but you wouldn't say one of those hurtling down the road, sirens blaring, is metaphorical of a particularly heavy flow, would you? Actually, you probably would. Okay, like, literally, the good side has all these typical masculine colours, like blue and green. Green is supposed to be a calming colour. You need lots of green. Stat. Oh, and some other guy, I can't remember, he's like black or whatever, and he's got purple, so that's okay, I guess. I like purple. I mean, I'm wearing purple. Do you know, I've never felt sorry for an item of clothing before. Well, the dark side only has one colour. Just one! Not two, not three. No, just one. Red. Blood red. Period. Blood red. I've been around long enough to know that no two periods are truly the same. And I've seen some fucked up shit in my time. Just saying, there's no lightsabers with brown bits in them. It's really freaking obvious that Anakin's transformation into Dark Vader was clearly a symbol for him having gender reassignment surgery, becoming a woman, and having his first period. Holy shit, just when I thought it couldn't get any weirder. What kind of argument is that? I, I can't even debate against it. It's that fucked up. I hold the high ground, Cassidy. It's over. If you watch carefully, you'll see how Anakin's lifesaver turns red as he becomes the feared, horrible monster that he is as Dark Vader. If I watch... Ca Fucking hell, you haven't even seen the... F do, do you know what? Never mind. Never mind. The only thing you should be worried about seeing right now is a doctor. Look here, guys, okay? If you don't get anything that I have just explained, there's something seriously wrong with you. With me? You've suggested Darth Vader is a transgender person whose weapon symbolises the breaking down of the lining of the uterus. I cannot wait to hear what you think of Jabba the Hutt. And if you enjoy these movies, you're probably some huge, fat, greasy, misogynistic pig who hates women and can't get any. Have you seen cosplayers? Look, they're boning, they're boning, they're boning, they're boning, they're still boning, and what the fuck is going on here? In the light of all these findings, I'm starting a new hashtag called Ban Sexist Star Wars. And if you are ever in need of a laugh, go and check it out. This calls for the ban of the new movie and all other previous movies that have been made. I don't think a lot of people are going to go for that, love. I mean, you're trying to ban what is basically a religion, and if you're going to do that, there are so many better places to start. I want every single movie, DVD, VHS, mixtape, whatever, of Star Wars to be burned. I want the cinemas to not show it because it's hurting women. Chris Brown hurts women and he's doing pretty well for himself. And I can't believe children, uh, children, children, they watch these shows. So they're going to grow up learning that it's okay to make fun of women because they get a period. If they draw that conclusion from an epic saga about the struggles between the forces of good and evil, then fuck, they deserve to make a couple of period jokes. So if you agree with me, Please. See a psychiatrist. Immediately. Go under the hashtag and comment to show your support to ban this awful, awful saga, franchise, Star Wars shit. Or, if you want to take the piss out of this monstrosity, you can do that there. I'm not advocating it, I'm just saying that's what most people seem to be using it for. Star Wars. George Lucas. This is for you and how I feel about Star Wars being so sexist. Fuck you, Yoda, you stupid piece of shit. I don't think George Lucas is subscribed to your channel, but even if he was, you've just shown him that you've bought Star Wars merchandise, so, I mean, he's laughing more than the rest of us. Yoda. <sighs> ah! You know, Yoda could easily fuck your shit up, Cassidy, but, you know, being the bigger man he is. This is Cassidy Boone. Don't forget to like my page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and add me to Snapchat. She claims to hate Star Wars and yet blatantly just tried to use the force to persuade us. Thank you for watching guys and remember, menstruation jokes are not funny. Period. Fucking hell, that was awful.